Hey guys, welcome to Clarity Chart Analysis. In this channel, I'll be interpreting, analyzing the market structure, telling us our current position on the price market chart, and also using the market structure to predict the next possible move of the market. But first, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both directions of the market, you want to know our current position on the price market chart. This channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. Welcome to the WUSDT price market chart. I already made a video on the market structure, so you can just go to the channel, search for the market structure video, and, and I will also be dropping a link that link to the market structure video. So guys, in this video, I will be summarizing the market structure. I'll be telling us our current position on the price market chart, and also I'll be using a FIP tool, which is to customize to premium and discount level. Lastly, I'll be identifying highly probability PIs where we expect price to get to before it starts seeing significant move. So guys, on our major structure, the most recent break of structure we saw was the break of structure downside. Guys, currently now, after the break of structure, we expect a pullback. Guys, are we actually on a pullback phase? For us to be on a pullback phase, we need this swing that gives us this lower low to be taken out. If this swing is not taken out, guys, we are not yet on a pullback phase. So guys, currently now, price is still on an impulsive phase. So don't be surprised, same price continue breaking structure from this point. So guys, bringing in our FIP2, the FIP2 is actually the customized into premium and discount level. So like guys, let's assume that price now pulled back and it went above this swing. Now we will be expecting price to come back to this uh, premium level. Guys, the idea of the premium level is just this. Imagine you're buying a commodity that you want to sell. You'll be buying that commodity on discount prices. So you can sell it on premium prices to make profit. So guys, that's just the idea. Now currently now, we're already on a discount level. But guys, don't forget that we are not on a pullback phase yet. So because we just saw a break of structure to the downside, we expect price to come back to this premium level before we continue breaking more structure to the downside. So guys, let's move to a lower time frame, which is our four hour time frame to analyze our minor structure. And guys, remember our minor structure will be traded between this swing, this lower high and this lower low. So guys, on our minor structure, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. So guys, remember, after every break of structure, we expect a pullback. So guys, on our minor structure now, for us to be sure that we're on a pullback, we need price to stay trade above this swing. Currently, price came close to it, but went back down. And guys, at this point now, we're still on an impulsive phase. Until price trade above this swing, before we'll be sure that we're on a pullback phase. On our minor structure, price is trading between this higher high and this lower low. So guys, this is our FIP2. We expect price to come back to our premium level before we continue seeing more break of structure to the downside. So guys, we expect price to come back 0.1 range back to about 0.2 before we continue breaking more structure to the downside. But guys, let's not forget that our minor structure, part of our premium is on our discount and premium on our major structure so guys using our measurement tool from this point price is trading for price to come back to this our major supply zone price will have to go back about 120 percent meaning price will have to come back to the price of 0.2748 dollars and for price to come back to this lower low price will have to lose about 19 more percent so guys which of the side do you think price is actually going at this point we've not seen the pullback yet so we should not be surprising price breaking more structure to the downside. So guys, I've identified our highly probability PIs. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think from this point price is trading, price will have to come back, lose about 90 more percent, continue breaking more structure to the downside? And guys, if price continue breaking more structure to the downside, that shows we are seeing all time lose. Guys, do you think price will have to come back to this supply zone? before continuing seeing more break of structure to the downside. Or do you think price will have to come back to this major supply zone? And guys, for price to go back to this major supply zone, we should know that price has broken our lower time frame structure, which is our IRI. Thank you guys for watching this video. 